Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box if you ever want to skip ahead. Also remember that time is fluid and what that means is this could resonate for you as a past, a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. Okay, we have trust, patience, and openness immediately wanted to come through in your reading. So, somebody is going to be revealing some things to you, becoming more open about something, more communicative, more forthcoming with some type of information for you guys. Hmm. Your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom. It is general. It can be flipped or reversed. I also want to let you guys know I have created a monthly membership here on my channel. It is only $1.99 per month. This will give you access to an exclusive weekly Twin Flame Collective reading. I've been uploading those on Sundays. Okay. Link to join us in the description box below. The Empress. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. We do have Pisces energy here with the Hanged Man. We have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords in your energy. We have the Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords and the Star. Wow. Under the deck is the Six of Cups. This is reconciliation. This is reunion for some of you. Okay. Some of you, this could be a past life connection where you have spent many lifetimes with this person. That's why you feel such a deep connection to them, spiritually speaking. All right, so what I feel here, what I see, you've been, again, gender's irrelevant here, so take it how it resonates, leave it doesn't, but... The Empress, like I said, you could have strong Taurus or a Libra in your chart. You could be dealing with one. The Empress is the embodiment of all queens, okay? She is the queen of the tarot, the queen of queens. The Empress is strength. She's compassion. She is intelligent. She is strong-willed. She's determined. She's abundant. She's successful. She's grounded. She's maternal. She's healing, and I feel like this is the energy that you are embodying right now, okay? This is all about growth. You've been on this journey for maybe quite some time. Some of you could be mothers, okay? That's for some of you, or fathers. But this is really knowing your worth, like really being in a very powerful energy right now. And with the hanged man here, it's like you're holding yourself back from any kind of past deception, I feel that this person was not honest with you in the past about their situation or their intentions, their emotions. They kept some things hidden. They had this element here. With the hanged man, this could be you kind of feeling like things just aren't moving forward as far as love goes. This is kind of in your heart space. So you're thinking about growth and potential, but you do feel like as far as love is concerned, there's no movement right now. And you're definitely not going to move towards anything uncertain. That's for sure. This is a very calm, cool, collected, calculated kind of energy. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to move forward until I have absolute clarity in a situation. Uh, you could be waiting for someone to break free from a situation to come be returned to you. I feel like on the, I feel like, first of all, I feel like you're doing well. Okay. And some of you could, you know, be doing well, like focus on your stability, your success, your family, your healing, your own self-care, your own personal journey. Okay. We focus on that. But I do feel like internally there is like this element of fear. It's like, but you don't project that. You're projecting nothing but strength at this time. There may have been some secrets or deception in the past. This could also be you um, holding something back, not saying something just yet, waiting for the right time, waiting for someone to maybe collaborate with you, return to speak your truth. You know, this could be you. Keeping the next chapter, the next phase of your life kind of private right now, there could be an element of, you know, I want to keep this quiet. I don't want any interference from possibly uh, negative people, negative energies.
some of you, and again, this is, take what resonates. Leave it, if it's not your message, it's for someone else, okay? Some of you could be married or have children and it may have kept you trapped in a situation. Or that's the way that you see your person situation. Like someone's trapped because of some kind of responsibility, okay? Children. And so things have been really quiet. Your relationship hasn't been public. It hasn't been known. It hasn't been spoken of. And it keeps you in your mind. But you try to kind of take that anxiety, that stress, that fear, that worry, uh, that doubt, mm, that restless energy. And you channel it to something else. Now, in your person's energy here, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups with the Five of Wands. <sighs> So you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be any sign. We do have Aquarius strongly here. We have Taurus, Libra strongly here. We have strong water, Pisces. Could be any sign, however. But this person is feeling quite emotional. Like I said, gender is irrelevant here. This person's feeling quite emotional. This person is longing for an opportunity, but they can't see a way past the conflict as of right now. Okay, because look at this queen and how she's kind of looking directly at this confrontation. You know, in order to get to where I'm longing to be, what I'm looking towards in the future, I'm going to have to end a situation that may cause a lot of conflict, fighting, chaos. It may be some kind of um, power struggle here. This person wrestling with some type of addiction or codependent behavior. This person thinks very emotionally of you. They're very conflicted in how they should move forward. However, they will return to you. Spirit is asking you to be patient and trust in divine timing here. I know a lot of you hate to hear that word, but um, that's what it's really about. The last thing that you would ever want is someone to come to you before they are fully ready to give it their all. If they're not healed, they're not ready, they're still struggling with something that's going to create more conflict in your relationship. And it won't be successful. This person has to have cleared out whatever this negativity is, this toxic energy, to be free to fully open up to you and give 150% to this relationship. You know what I'm saying? With the Ten of Swords here, they have to end something. They have to end something that is going to cause them a great amount of struggle, fighting, arguments, disagreements. Uh, there even could be competition here. They, they may know that there's an ex who may not want to give up on fighting for them. Okay, they're wrestling with that, but their intention here is to end a situation so that they can have reunion, the star, with you. This is healing. This is coming together, balancing things. You have the six of cups here with the seven of cups and the full there's a risk involved for this person. Once they release what this is, return to you. Now, they may still have options, but I, I kind of feel, I, I kind of see like a juggling energy with this. For some of you, they may still have an ex who they know would be willing to take them back and work on the relationship, possibly for children being involved. Okay. For others of you, this is this person feeling like they still have a, quite a lot on their plate, but they are anxious for a new beginning. The Fool's Aries energy this is a fresh start, a clean slate, you know, a risk worth taking. You jump, I jump. Let's do it together. We can figure this out. Someone decided to become single for new love. And they've been thinking about this and they're very curious about how you feel. They see this cup for what it is. They don't want to let it get away. There's a return here. So that you've been anticipating for maybe quite some time. And I see with trust, patience, openness here, this person will within time begin to reveal a lot to you about their situation, their plans, and be more inclusive of you in that. Let's pull one of these cards. Okay. Anything else, please? There we go. So with this card here, we have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Like I say, I feel like this is you kind of taking that time for you, focusing on your own healing, your own journey, your own path, why this person has been sorting through some very difficult things, some very difficult energy. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. 
you've been in deep reflection about this, kind of trapped in your head for quite some time. Little do you know this person's feeling quite the same way. They've been kind of conflicted, fighting with themselves, wrestling with themselves. They're unhappy. They're unfulfilled. They feel anxious. They're looking at something else. This Queen of Cups is not somebody who is sitting here on a throne, relaxed and comfortable where she is. No, she's standing and she's looking over at, you know, look, she's looking off this balcony here and she's looking up into the future, longing, hoping, wishing, right? That's your person's energy, waiting for an opportunity. And with this card here, we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. This is a very powerful connection between you and this person. <clears throat> Definitely could be strong soulmate twin flame energy. There's reunion here. This person's coming back around to heal this connection with you if you want it, if you're open to it. I feel like most of you are. Some of you are going to want absolute clarity, no secrets, nothing hidden. And they will reveal quite a lot to you about their circumstances in attempts to heal this connection with you. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for donating to my channel. Thank you for joining the channel membership. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.